Hola, mi bishes, tis I, Clovis, aka Manny Bish, over on Instagram, and today we are doing a summery melon Manny situation with these uh, little melon nail things, fruity guys <laughs> that I got off of Timu. Uh, so, in one of my uh, like recent videos, I showed you guys what all I picked up from there, and so. This was one of the things, so we're going to use these, and I have the Manny Boss One in a Melon, which I've been dying to use, and I'll be using uh, the Manny Boss Gel Base as well, and Kiara Sky Rose Water, and we're going to do a little bit of an ombre action as well. So I had no idea which one of these I wanted to use going into this, but I decided on the oranges and the grapefruits because the strawberries I just felt like didn't really go with the color of this one in a melon which is just a lovely color um so what I am doing here is we're going to start off with the fruits because they are they're not flat they are a little bit I wouldn't say they're th thick but they have a thickness to them they're not flat they're not thin like that where it's just going to seamlessly blend in with all the things so I'm trying to put these down and work around so that way by the end of the like situation I have a flat even surface of nail situation going on does that make any sense okay so I put my gel base down and now I'm putting my fruits down so my little shorties here I didn't want them to be too busy because they're short um if they would have been longer I would have put more on but I got my shorties back because I'm going through stuff we're getting ready to pack or well kind of already packing sorting through stuff and all this and I just um I don't want long nails just kind of slow me down with all of that so you feel my vibe so anyways I put my little fruits down and I cured my nails for a minute uh just to get those suckers in place now I should have like kind of tried to bend them to form them a little better to my nail because I don't have like a flat nail so they were only stuck really in the middle not around the edges so I'm taking this rhinestone glue from a car it is always linked when I use it in the description box um got it off of Amazon um and I'm just taking that around the fruit to fill in those gaps and while it is still wet I am going to take my base my gel base and just go over the rest of the nail and blend um that like extra product from around the fruit out and cleaning around my cuticles with my little cleanup brush here adding a little bit more of this stuff because it's thicker and it's rhinestone glue so just like has better adherence I guess um or it should so just safety precaution I guess made me feel better to use it like that and I still have not cured anything um after the whole rhinestone glue situation and we're going in with um, one in a melon at our free edge on these nails with our fruits. And then we're going to be putting rose water at our cuticle. And um, these are the only two fingers that we're going to be ombre. -ed. And we're going to, if I would have been thinking about this before I did this whole situation, um, I would have taken my cleanup brush after I cleaned around my sidewalls and I would have cleaned off the fruit to not have any gel on it. That way, don't make it any thicker and bulkier and make it stick up more. So, I didn't do that this round, unfortunately for me. But, cured that for a minute. Now, as I'm wiping off the excess powder, I am also rubbing in that pink at the free edge, trying to get a little bit more blendy blend going on. And then we're going to dust all of this off. And then we're going to go in for around 
two on the gel and also do the rest of our fingers as well now um which you're only gonna see one layer of the rest of these fingers so you'll see every layer that i do for the ombre but only um the one layer that i do for these i'm going in uh with rose water on my index finger and i'm going to do two layers of this and then i'm going to go in with one and a melon on my pinky and my thumb and i'm going to do two layers of that and then we're going to continue with our ombre um and then cure all of it together if you're worried you're going to hit a finger or mess it up you can cure each nail individually even like a little flash cure if you wanted to 15 seconds go on to the next 15 seconds whatever um honestly sometimes that's probably what i should do because i am a very clumsy reckless person but i get too cocky when i do my nails and i'm like i got this and thankfully for this one i did have it so we just left all of our nails wet and uncured until all of them were done um i had a glitter in here that i needed to take out don't know where it came from but it was in there uh, so I had to take that out, and then I remembered, oh, I have this pour-over spoon from when I was in Texas already two years ago, jeez, um, and went to the Dollar Tree, and might I say it took a long time to find these dang spoons. They were, like, sold out everywhere, just little appetizer spoons. I, I don't, I don't know, but it took forever to find them. Anyways, um, so I decided to use that to pour over on my pinky, and that's literally the only finger I used it on, so, I, I don't know, I don't know. Anywho, um, now we are going to finish our ombres with our, uh, fruit fingers, <laughs> and, um, I tried to avoid the actual fruit when I did this layer, um, tried not saying it was perfect but i did try um and then we're gonna finish up our ombre well actually we're, we're gonna do this layer and then we'll do another layer with an ombre i like to do three layers um this layer we are going in the opposite order that we did at first so i'm starting at the cuticle with rose water and then we are going to go to the free edge and do one in a melon and then when we do our third layer, we'll go back to the original first way that we did it with one in a melon at the free edge first and then finish off with rose water at the cuticle area. It just makes for an easier, prettier blend, I guess you could say. In my opinion. In my opinion. If you can get your blend on real good in two layers more power to you i wish um so yeah we are doing this and then we are going to do something a little probably frightening to some of you unorthodox in the um dip situation um we'll get there in a second but first we are going to do our well i'm gonna do my second layer which again you guys aren't gonna see on these other nails and then we're gonna do our third layer um of why can i not ombre my brain y'all okay um so i already put the gel on i cleaned off my fruits this time um we're going to start our ombre and then cure for another minute and then we will be done with this and go on to the crazy situation I was just talking about. Um, today, guys, is Prime Day. So, just a reminder that your girl does have an Amazon storefront. And I always have it linked in the description box. If anybody wants to shop it, check it out, whatever you want. I do get a small commission off of it. Um, it helps me out. It helps keep me going and buying new stuff to try for y'all um but yeah just if you want to 
It doesn't cost you anything extra than what you would already be purchasing off of Amazon. Um, so yeah, that'll be in the description box and it, today's the last day of Prime Day. So July 12th, last day. Get hopping. Get hopping and step into it, my people. Okay, so now, yes, this is the scary situation that I was talking about. I did not clear cap yet. We are going right in on this beautiful ombre and filing. But I am doing it on the fruit. And I was really scared about this because I was like, are these fruits like painted a certain way? Like, am I going to be filing the color off of the fruit? Am I going to be... I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I needed to get this dip powder off of there somehow so that you could actually see the fruit. And thankfully filing on it did not do anything to the fruit so I literally just filed off that dip powder that was on the fruit and now I'm going to clear encapsulate everything that I have that extra excess that excess dip powder off guys I don't know <sighs> I just can't talk I'm literally like bleh anyways um yeah clear capping now and then i'm gonna file everything one you know good time file around my cuticle side walls um even everything out buff all the things um i had to use my spray bottle of alcohol because my little punchy guy that i usually use where you press on the top is out of alcohol and I don't know where my alcohol is to refill it but I happen to have this spray bottle of alcohol so I was just spraying my brush yeah so anyways I've filed and buffed and now I have these little like I don't know what do you call these like plexiglass flake looking flakes I what do you call these I don't know don't know what they are also off of Timu um, I liked that there was a bunch of different colors and things to give you, like, the little glass reflection stuff. So, I decided that I was going to use some of these on two of my nails. Um, I don't know how I feel about these. 100% don't know how I feel. They were really hard to get to lay down, um, evenly. And it, mm, if you don't have it encapsulated good enough, they will peel up from underneath your top coat. So I did have that happen. It didn't happen right away, but I think it was like after three or four days, I had um, one of the pieces on my cuticle area on my ring finger peel up. And it wasn't anything bad. You couldn't really tell or anything, but I could feel it. So, that was kind of annoying. But, anyways. Um, yeah, so I just placed those down with the gel base and I cured them. And then I'm adding one extra layer of gel base over them. And then curing them again. And then going in with my top coat over all of them. All of my nails. Um, I did have this one piece that wanted to stick up on this index finger so I just cut it with my cuticle nippers after having everything cured down and so now I'm going in with my Manny Boss gel top coat on all of my fingers now I do not notice really with this top coat um, any peeling or anything if I don't use a base coat with it I know some products some gels it's like you want to use a base coat with the top coat because it prevents peeling and they just like work better if you do it that way um i don't have any issues uh you know like sometimes they think oh or they say like the buffing of your nail makes it too smooth and then the top coat's just gonna peel off you should use base coat to make it sticky whatever i do not have a problem with that with this top coat i can go in with this top coat right over a freshly buffed nail and not have any peeling it will stay until I take it off or my peel base works so like 
A plus for this gel. I love Manny Boss liquids. I know I hardly ever use any of their dip powder, and I love their dip powders too, but I am always constantly using their liquids, their gel liquids and their dip liquids. 100% yes. So, this is my summery melon fruity Manny. Those fruits, after all of the filing and everything, uh, they were actually really smooth and even on my nails. So, yeah, that worked out really good. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, bitches!